The past 18 months have provided um, both challenges and opportunities for many sectors of the WA economy, and few more so than the creative industries. Women face higher barriers to access and consume uh, the arts and culture, um, much more than men. And if we look a little bit in depth, so of course there is the story uh, with, that women uh, aged between 25 and 40, uh, they, lack of, they lack of time. And this is possibly due to childcare responsibilities. But the other side of the story is really interesting, is the fact that women are really keen and, uh, to consume more uh, art and industries, but men, not so much. As the government has made uh, WA Museum Boulevard at free admission for the first 18 months, and obviously uh, I say no secret that, that I'd like to see that continue. And time and again in that report, it draws attention to the fact that the greatest um, value of culture is to those on lowest incomes, but the greatest barrier to culture is admission and ticket prices. Mm. I was really interested in this idea that, you know, we, we acknowledge in WA we're always going to be a small proportion of our whole economy, but we can be the mouse that roars. And I think your point about connectedness and how many um, links we have into other sectors across our economy it's very important. We do struggle for a bit of an identity in Western Australia, and I think this is an opportunity to create an identity which is built around um, the kind of richness of creativity and, and perhaps start thinking about us being a kind of a developer of, of, of creativity. So we have a system where if you're, you're a lower income family and you would like to um, play cricket or join up with a football club, there's a voucher that you can redeem with the department. Um, for your membership, which is great to get for lower income families. And I was wondering if perhaps we could have some sort of similar system like that to get people involved with culture and the arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm.